And I'm moving on to news outside Africa. Makers of COVID-19 vaccines are to be commended for planning for the likelihood of needing to adjust their products. And this is to offer protection against Omicron variants, a World Health Organization spokesperson said this on Friday. A Christian Lynn Meyer said the agency was studying the transmissibility and severity of the variant first detected in Southern Africa last month. South African scientists studying the Omicron outbreak believe symptoms are less severe, but that's for those reinfected with COVID-19 by the new variant or infected after vaccination. Maria van Kekove is the WHO's technical lead on COVID-19. She said on Wednesday, December 1, that she expected to have more information on the transmissibility of the new Omicron variant within days. But Delta remains the dominant variant globally, accounting for more than 90% of infections, Lind Meyer said. Well, it's very recommendable that uh, vaccine manufacturers already start planning ahead and plan for the likelihood of having to adjust the vaccine, the existing vaccine. That's good. Uh, not just to wait till the, till the final alarm bell uh, rings. We do not yet have information together. And we said a week ago that it will take two, three weeks. Now that was a week ago. So it will still take some time. And let's not rush into conclusions here. Preliminary data, and we've said that now since a while, show that there's higher transmissibility. But that's all what we basically have so far. Again, different areas, different reports have individual uh, pieces of information, but that's I would call it right now an observation of that moment of that particular area. We need all this together to make a careful assessment. And as we're talking about Omicron, let's also not forget that the predominant variant right now still remains the Delta variant. So Omicron may be on the rise and we may come to a point where it takes over to be the dominant variant. But at this point, the very dominant variant remains Delta. Uh... But let us not lose sight of the Delta variant. The restrictions that were put into place in many countries just two weeks ago, um, uh, economical closures again, uh, lockdowns in some areas, closures of Christmas markets in parts of Europe. This was done before Omicron because of a rise of Delta cases. Let's not lose sight. Of Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.